field. If you've done ever laying the snow and done the snow angel, you'll be good at this one. Again, it's a shoulder range of motion exercise, and it's to help you identify where some tight spots are in your shoulder range of motion so that you can help work on them and, uh, and remove those. So you're going to lie down, once you bend your knees, keep your low back fairly close to the floor, again without arching, so right here. Back of your wrists and your elbows are on the floor and your arms are straight. We're going to start off with shoulders down away from the ears, tendencies to get them up like this, so drop them down, set the core, and we're just going to slide our arms up, try and touch our thumbs above our head without bending our elbows. You're going to find a lot of times people will get to about here and their arms will come like this off the ground because the mobility is not enough to keep the arm flat. So slide up, find that spot where you might start to come off, really tighten up the core, keep everything in position, and then continue on to the top. And you can go nice and slow through that several times. Another variation on that I can show you is palms flat on your uh, thighs, shoulders down away again, core tight, keep your arms straight, come all the way up, and just try and lay your arms flat. Come back up. What will happen, a lot of times people will get to here, and then to get that last little bit of motion, they arch their back that way, I want you to keep core in position, and just try to keep the arms flat on the ground. Again, if we're talking about overhead lifting, we want to be able to get to either here, or this position without changing our body position. So many people get shoulder injuries because they have limited shoulder range of motion and when they're lifting overhead they end up arching their back instead of getting the shoulders into the right position. So work on those and it'll help all your lifts as well as keep your shoulders strong and stable.